Everybody finds stuff now and then. I recently found my passport, having had no idea I'd even lost it. I just reached behind the fridge and, well, there it was. But nobody stumbles upon more things than archaeologists. And no matter how much they find, they still don't always understand their discoveries. These are the most amazing finds archaeologists still can't explain. Number 15. Valley of the Whales Few locations on Earth are as compelling as Egypt's Whale Valley, Wadi al hitan a significant collection of the most unexpected of animal remains, whale fossils, can be found within a wind-sculpted landscape of sand and boulders. The dispersed bones are from a long-extinct suborder of whales known as Archaeoceti. One peculiar but vitally essential physical trait distinguishes these ancient species from modern-day cetaceans, hind legs. The idea that the gigantic maritime giants we know today started their life as land-based creatures is based on this significant departure in the fossil record of whales. The fossils of Wadi al hitan however, have tended to create more problems than they have answered since their discovery in 1902. While the hundreds of archaeoset bones provide a rare and important glimpse of whales in the last phases of losing their hind limbs and migrating to a maritime lifestyle, evolutionary experts are still stumped as to who the whale's oldest progenitor was. Although the fossils in Wadi al hitan are not the world's oldest, paleontologists and evolutionary biologists value them for their sheer abundance and extraordinary preservation and even some stomach contents, which are still intact. Egypt's Whale Valley was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2005 as a result of this. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Look at this image. Isn't it baffling? Well, don't worry, you're not the only one who is confused. Even the archaeologists who unearthed it were baffled, and we can't say we blame them. When digging into the ground of an American forest, they stumbled upon this curious cannon. As you can see, it is painted green, presumably to blend in with the grass, and seems to be mounted onto some kind of door, possibly to a weird little bunker. As of the making of this video, the stories are that they are still trying to break into the bunker, but to no success. We are fascinated to know what they find in there, and hope it solves the archaeologist's confusion. Their current theory is that it belonged to some kind of ancient society, but how ancient? If we ever find out, we'll be sure to make a video about it. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Gobekli Tepe Gobekli Tepe is the world's oldest center of worship, going back 6,500 years and predating the Egyptian pyramids. According to Newsweek, this massive and beautiful temple complex near the Syrian border in southern Turkey might be the very first thing human beings ever erected. Hunter-gatherers built this vast ceremonial site of at least 50 colossal T-shaped pillars, some as high as 17 feet, adorned with intricate reliefs of totem animals such as wildcats, symbols of death such as carrion birds, and game animals such as the wild boar that still roam these hills today. Before the invention of pottery, agriculture, domesticated animals, or writing, these early Neolithic monoliths which covered the whole hillside and were visible for miles around in their day had diameters ranging from 30 to 100 feet, weighed up to 200 tons, and were each placed inside roughly 20 concentric rings, the biggest reaching 30 yards across. Before the excavations at Gobekli Tepe, it was assumed that such an old population could not have built such a large structure. Nonetheless, we know that this was not a community, but rather a holy site where early people gathered to perform holy ceremonies, by providing proof that community worship, rather than the city that begat the temple, pulled humans together, Gobekli Tepe Tepe has the potential to challenge long-held views of social formation. Number 13. 
the Cockno Stone. The Cockno Stone in West Dunbartonshire, Scotland, is said to feature the best example of Bronze Age cup and ring carvings in Europe, with hundreds of grooved spirals, carved indentations, geometric forms, and cryptic patterns of various types. Despite this, it has been buried underneath several feet of soil and plants for the previous 50 years in a desperate effort to safeguard it from vandals at the time. However, the intriguing stone is poised to be uncovered once again in the hopes of understanding some of its mysteries via an in-depth analysis of its mysterious markings. Archaeologists will construct a thorough digital record of the stone's markings using 3D imaging technology in the hopes of learning more about the stone's history, function, and the people who made it some 5,000 years ago. The Rev. James Harvey found the stone, which spans 42 feet by 26 feet in fields near what is now the Fifely housing area on the outskirts of Clyde Bank in 1887. More than 90 carved indentations, known as cup and ring markings, cover it. The cup and ring markings on the Cockno stone are accompanied by an etched pre-Christian cross placed inside an oval, as well as two pairs of engraved footprints, each with four toes. The Cockno stone has been recognized as a national treasure and listed as a registered monument due to the variety of markings on it. Number 12. The Kahat Shibib A new map of a 93-mile-long ancient wall in Jordan has left archaeologists with a slew of questions, including when the wall was constructed, who constructed it, and what it was erected for. The presence of the wall, commonly known as the Kahat Shabib, was originally revealed in 1948 by Sir Alec Kirkbride, a British ambassador in Jordan. He spotted a stone wall running for no apparent reason across the country while flying into Jordan. Aerial photography has been used by archaeologists with the Aerial Archaeology in Jordan project to investigate the ruins of the wall. The wall stretches north-northeast to south south-southwest, according to the experts. They discovered areas of the construction where two walls run side by side and others where the wall splits off. The findings raise a number of questions for archaeologists, including when the wall was erected, who erected it, and why did they do so. The wall's function is likewise a mystery. Its modest height and narrowness suggest it was not built for defensive purposes. The experts believe the construction constituted a bare barrier between ancient farmers and nomadic pastoralists, since traces of ancient agriculture are more obvious to the west of the wall than to the east. It might also have denoted another kind of border to unravel these puzzles further on the ground fieldwork is required. Number 11. Cat Carving on Peruvian Hillside According to Peru's Ministry of Culture, archaeologists uncovered a giant cat carved into the side of a hill more than 2,000 years ago. The fading figure was found during renovation work on a viewing point at the Nazca Lines, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The cat geoglyph was positioned on a steep hill, making it difficult to detect at first due to natural erosion. Archaeologists cleaned the site and discovered lines ranging in width from 12 to 16 inches that made up the 121-foot-long picture. The lines, animals, plants, and geometric shapes carved into the earth nearby that can be seen from above look to be older than this geoglyph. The artwork style suggests it was made between 200 and 100 BC, during the late Paracas era, according to the ministry. On the pottery and textiles made by the Paracas civilization, cats were commonly depicted. Other pictures discovered in the Nazca lines include those of a hummingbird, a monkey, and an orca. In 1927, the site was found, and in 1994, it was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Researchers have discovered more of the gigantic figurines after their discovery. Number 10. Enormous Stone Structure Beneath the Sea of Galilee a mystery circular building buried around 30 feet underneath the Sea of Galilee in Israel has been found with a diameter bigger than that of a Boeing 747 plane. 
Scientists found the structure by mistake in 2003 when surveying the lake's bottom using sonar, but their results were recently published. We just bumped into it, says Shmuel Marco, a Tel Aviv University geophysicist who worked on the research. Usually the bottom of the lake is quite smooth. We were surprised to find a large mound. Initially, we didn't realize the importance of this, but we consulted with a couple of archaeologists, and they said it looked like an unusually large Bronze Age statue. The building is made up of basalt rocks placed in a cone form. It is 32 feet tall, measures 230 feet at the base, and weighs an estimated 60,000 tons. It is twice the size of Stonehenge, England's ancient stone circle, according to Marco, who also captured footage of the construction on a scuba dive to study it. It might have been built underwater as a form of fish nursery due to its size and position. However, archaeologists believe it was most likely erected on dry ground before being inundated by the lake. Number 9. Pre-Columbian Rock Art at Cerro Azul in Guaviare State the European Research Council funded a team of British Colombian researchers who went into a remote part of the Colombian Amazon, Sarana de la Lindosa, and discovered a remarkably monumental example of prehistoric art, a nearly eight-mile stretch of paintings of both humans and mysterious animals that spans a steep cliffside and has been dubbed the Sistine Chapel of the Amazon. According to recent accounts, some of the drawings uncovered resemble long extinct species such as a certain form of camelid, Ice Age era horses, and a paleolama. They are thought to have been made by Amazonian peoples who lived 12,500 years ago in that region of the planet, according to Jose Iriarte, an archaeology professor at Exeter University and the head of the team that investigated the drawings. When you're there, your emotions flow. We're talking about several tens of thousands of paintings. He went on to say the pictures are so natural and so well made that we have few doubts that you're looking at a horse, for example. The Ice Age horse had a wild, heavy face. It's so detailed, we can even see the horse hair. It's fascinating. Number 8. Super Hench British researchers reportedly uncovered the ruins of a colossal stone structure 15 times the size of Stonehenge and just two miles distant from the famed site. The stone monoliths were discovered buried underneath the bank of the Durrington Walls Superhenge one of the UK's biggest known henges, and might have been a part of a massive Neolithic monument, according to the experts. It's unclear if the stones were erected at the same period as those at Stonehenge, and academics aren't sure how they were utilized. Those studying the mystery rock structures of the United Kingdom originally believed that only Stonehenge and one lesser henge near the main monument had important stone structures. They now realize that's not the case. According to the experts, the 90 or so massive stones uncovered at Durrington Walls may have stood about 15 feet tall before being toppled over 4,500 years ago. The Superhenge was built near the River Avon in a natural depression bordered by a chalk scarp, or sharply edged slope. The newly discovered stones may have created an artificial wall to the south of the hill, forming a C-shaped arena, where springs and valleys flowing into the Avon formerly existed. Number 7. Utsi the Iceman on September 19, 1991, a German tourist, Helmut Simon, discovered an old mummified human corpse near the Simalon Glacier in the Tyrolean Utsel Alps on the Italian-Austrian boundary. The corpse is that of a man aged 25 to 35, who is also around 5 feet 2 inches tall and weighed around 100 pounds, and was radiocarbon dated to 3300 BCE. Initially, it was assumed that he perished of cold or fatigue while traversing the Alps, but an arrowhead was found lodged in the Iceman's left shoulder during an X-ray study in 2001, indicating that he had likely bled to death after being shot. The little rocky hole where he laid down to die was quickly 
quickly buried and protected by glacial ice, which was thawing until his remains was found by modern humans 5,300 years later. The name Utsi comes from the Utsdal Alps, where he was discovered. Since they comprised the gear of a Neolithic wanderer, the diverse garments and accessories recovered with him are truly amazing. An unlined fur robe sewn together from bits of ibex, chamois, and deer skin was the Iceman's most basic article of clothing. He donned a braided grass cloak and a fuzzy helmet to keep warm, and he wore leather shoes packed with grass. A little copper-bladed axe and a flint dagger were carried by the Iceman. A slow berry, mushrooms, and a few gnawed ibex bones comprised his meager diet. Number 6. The Lascaux Cave Paintings Lascaux Cave is a Paleolithic cave in Montanac in the Dordogne area of southern France that holds some of the most renowned examples of ancient cave paintings. Nearly 600 paintings, largely of animals, adorned the cave's inner walls in spectacular designs. Horses are the most common, although there are also deer, aurochs, ibex, bison, and even some felines. Aside from these paintings, which depict the majority of the key subjects, there are over 1,400 engravings in the same style. The art, which dates from about 17,000 to 15,000 BCE and was sculpted by the obviously skilled hands of people living in the region at the time, belongs to the Upper Paleolithic Era. Many highly adorned caves have been unearthed in the area, which seems to be a hotspot. The actual significance of the paintings at Lascaux or any of the other sites is still debated. Although the predominant opinion attributes a ceremonial or perhaps spiritual component to them, implying their maker's complexity, Lascaux, along with other ancient monuments in the area, was added to the UNESCO World Heritage Sites list in 1979, after it became evident that the numerous visitors were causing, among other things, the development of algae on the cave walls, irreversible harm to the cave murals, the original cave was closed to the public in 1963. Number 5. Toland Man Toland Man is a naturally mummified man unearthed in northern European peat bogs. In 1950, locals in Toland, Denmark, were harvesting peat for fuel when they discovered his bones. The locals first mistook him for a recent murder victim due to his exceptional state of preservation, and after much argument, the local police were summoned to investigate. The police were perplexed by the sight of the remains, so they invited a scientist called P.V. Glob to come see what they had found. Glob initiated steps to retrieve the remains for further examination after recognizing that it was an old burial. The victim was found naked save for a leather helmet and a large belt around his waist with a rope securely tied around his neck. Later study revealed that this Iron Age guy was hung in what is now widely assumed to be a ceremonial sacrifice. Tulland Man's body was reconstructed for the exhibit, which is presently on display in Denmark's Silk Borg Museum. The level of detail in his face is incredible. His chin stubble, eyelashes, and skin wrinkles are all extraordinarily well kept. Visitors may stare into the nearly calm countenance of this old violence victim, as the rope used to terminate his life still lies coiled around his neck. Number 4. Voynich Manuscript Professional code breakers and researchers from numerous fields have tried to unravel the enigma of the Voynich Manuscript throughout the years. Some, like the authors of a computer algorithm-based research released in 2016, suspected Hebrew was the language underlying the lettering, which experts questioned the methods utilized and no meaningful translation was generated. Others have suggested that the manuscript is a counterfeit and that the text is a fraud. The manuscript's 240 vellum pages have drawings of vegetation, floating heads, zodiac signs, exotic animals, including dragons, castles, ladies bathing, and astrological symbols adding to the mystery. These pictures have been used to divide the manuscript's material into six sections, botanical, astronomical, and astrological, biological, cosmological, medicinal, and recipes. The exact substance of the writing has remained mysterious due to the lack of ability to read it. Even the author of the manuscript's name is unknown. 
Voynich manuscript was discovered in 1912 when Wilfred Voynich, a London-based rare book merchant, purchased it in Italy. It had previously belonged to Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II and most likely John Dee, the famed astrologer, at the court of England Queen Elizabeth I. The manuscript has been preserved at Yale University's Binac Rare Book and Manuscript Library since 1969. Number 3. Mount Owen Moa a team of archaeologists was conducting an excursion within a massive cave system on Mount Owen in New Zealand over three decades ago when they came upon a terrifying and unique artifact. With minimal sight in the dark cave, they questioned if their eyes were misleading them since they couldn't comprehend what they saw in front of them. A giant dinosaur-like claw still intact with flesh and scaly skin. The claw was in such good condition that it looked to have originated from something that had just recently died. The claw was quickly recovered and taken for investigation by the archaeological team. The findings were astonishing. The mystery claw was discovered to be the mummified bones of an upland moa, a big ancient bird that had vanished 3,300 years before. The upland moa, Megalapteryx didinus, was a New Zealand-only species of moa bird. The first moa emerged some 18.5 million years ago, and there were at least 10 species according to a DNA study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, but they were wiped out in the fattest human-facilitated megafauna extinction reported to date. Number 2. Sac Say Human the Saxe Huaman complex's three tiered walls are a feat of engineering, with some of the largest stones ever discovered, an Incan building fitting together so snugly that mortar was not required. While the site is supposed to be the ruins of a much bigger fortress complex that once stood above it, the structure's surviving walls are a testament to the Incan's absolutely amazing technical abilities. Huge stones of various sizes are heaped together like a gigantic game of Tetris over the three-stepped parts of the remaining walls. Although the stones are all essentially square and rectangular in form, there is no uniformity in their precise proportions. Each piece seems to be custom carved to fit in a specific spot. as if the wall was merely designed and built as they went along, which seems virtually impossible considering the project's huge size when the Spanish took over the adjacent city of Cusco and started recreating it in their image, they dismantled whatever towers, walls, or battlements were atop the surviving fortifications. It's probable that the massive stones of the lower walls were just too enormous to move, preserving Saxe Huaman's spectacular fortifications. Regardless of the explanation, the exact building on show is one of the most stunning examples of Incan inventiveness that we have today. Number 1. Terracotta Army Thousands of life-sized terracotta figurines of an army ready for combat were discovered by Chinese laborers building a well in 1974. The figurines, now known as the Terracotta Army or Terracotta Warriors, are housed in three pits outside Xi'an in China's Shangxi province. The site was turned into a museum and a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987 when the warriors were unearthed. The pits are located less than a mile northeast of a pyramid mid-shaped monument built by Jin Shi Huang, China's first emperor, 259 BC to 210 BC. Archaeologists believe the unexcavated tomb may contain an entire replica of Xi'an, which the warriors guard, according to the UNESCO World Heritage Center. There are an estimated 8,000 life-sized terracotta figurines in the three trenches of which roughly 2,000 have been unearthed. The figurines, which comprise chariots, cavalry, armored warriors, and archers, were meant to assist the monarch in the afterlife. There are high-ranking commanders, nine generals have been discovered so far, and one of the pits, number three, operated as an army command post with an honor guard and magnificent chariot 
it for the forces senior commander. When you realize that the soldiers are just a tiny section of Shinji Wang's tomb, they are much more stunning. The tomb complex measures approximately 38 square miles, according to scientists who employed remote sensing, core samples, and radar. But there's a chance we'll never know for sure what's under the grave. Sima Huan warned that it was booby-trapped and modern archaeologists are reluctant to visit because of the risk of causing damage to the site. If the graves were unsealed, certain objects may degrade quickly. What do you think is behind all these mysteries? What other strange things are buried beneath the earth? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.